Good evening and welcome to Regional Report. From the banks of the Shore and Waterford, we go to Green Concerns on the banks of the Shannon, and then to Green Water in County Clare. But first to what could be the driest subject of history, were it not for the determination of towns around the country with an eye on tourism to bring life to that subject, to give it flesh and bone, as they say. And in Clonmel and County Tipperary, they're in a better position than most to do just that, with their history literally cropping up in the most improbable places. It's many months now since Clonmel's corporation got down to the job of building new offices at the back of their town hall. And when the workmen got to the stage of excavating trenches for piping, their machines began turning up ancient history in the form of skeletons. First, a skull was found and the corporation's archaeologist was called in. Building work became archaeological investigation and some 23 skeletons were found in the council's backyard. Archaeologist Mary Henry. There was no records of anything being on the site, no record of any burial ground on the maps or on the historical, historical documents. And that's, it was surprising and very exciting from our point of view to come across 23 skeletons. And the possibility is that the war actually may be a casualty of some kind of war or skirmish with the discovery of uh, two musket balls lodged in two of the rib cages. But how old are they and how did they get there? The town hall began life as a merchant's house in the Cromwellian period, and the bodies had to be buried there before the house was built. Early analysis of pieces of pottery, buttons, pipes, and those two musket balls found with the bodies indicate that they may have fallen foul of Cromwell. Author and historian Colonel S.J. Watson. We've never discovered where the casualties in the siege of Clonmel in 1650 were buried. And uh, a number of people, according to the records, were killed, several hundred. But where they were buried, I don't know. This was a small collection of skeletons. There were bullets uh, found beside them, which indicates that they were probably uh, killed in some form of military activity. And that may be the key to the riddle. These are some of the victims of Cromwell's men. Now the skeletons will go off for carbon dating and expert analysis, adding another insight into our history. It would be an important site if we could associate it with the Cromwellian siege, because it would be the first time that skeletons have been found um, dating to that time, so the 1600s. Skeletons have been found all right uh, during the su early summer, which dated to the um, perhaps late 1700s, but this is a more exciting find, especially if they do are associated with the Cromwellian siege. So dry bones needn't make for dry history.